a problem that I've struggled with for quite a long time is how to get Excel to record a timestamp for data entry on a cell. It's easy enough to get Excel to record the time. We just put the now function in, press enter, and we find that we have the time put in for us. Now, that's okay, but we have one other issue. And with this uh, time turns over to 12.56 here, uh, I'll find that, uh, sorry, 12.57 there, uh, as it has now. If I put some more information in here and press enter, it not only has entered information here, but it has changed the time from my now function. Now, that's a little bit of an issue for me. So what I want to be able to do is to put some data in, for example, in my target cell here, and when I press enter, to record the time uh, that I entered the data, which was 1257, but not have the data change when I enter something else. So uh, I'm just going to delete this material here, and I'm going to write in uh, another cell down here, which has got more information, and when we turn over the minutes to 12.58, I'll press enter, and you'll see that the time function here will remain the same, whereas my now function here will update. So it's now turned to 12.58, and I press enter, and the now function has reactivated, and it's given me a new time, but this one here has maintained the time that was set when I put my target in. Now, if I delete my target, I've made the time go away. If I put in a new target, press enter, uh, it has created a new time based on the time that it, the computer is currently seeing. Now, this is computer time. It's based on what the computer uh, has currently determined as the current time. So let's look at how we would go about making this work. So my now function, I still want to use, but I'm going to use a little bit of extra trickery. Let's have a look at the cell. This is the function that we're going to work with to be able to get this to work. And what we've got going here is we're saying that A1, our target cell here, if that's uh, empty, then obviously we don't want to do anything. If it's not empty, then we're going to go and we're going to have a look at using the now function, but we're going to make a circular reference. We're going to tell B1 to update itself. Now, what will happen when we're using this is that we'll get a circular reference error uh, the first time we go and use it. Now, to stop Excel from worrying about this circular reference and let us push this time in here and then remain with that time, we need to switch on iterations. And we're going to do that with Excel options, formulas, and enable iterative calculation. Okay, once that's done, we click on OK. So we're searching for our target cell here, A1. So I've pointed it at A1. And we're referencing, we're updating the time in B1. Uh, we can copy this function down and you'll see that uh, it's updated everything nicely, so it's now working across from this cell. So any time we enter some data in this cell, we can put a timestamp in this cell, and the time will not change as the time would change using just the now command. And you can see that that one's updated itself each time I've entered some information.